<laughs> yesterday, <laughs> Mitch McConnell and Republican senators successfully voted to start debating their Obamacare repeal bill, uh, which they call the Better Care Reconciliation Act, AKA No Obamacare. And the biggest moment was when Arizona Senator John McCain, who had just been diagnosed with brain cancer, flew across the country to cast the deciding votes. I hope we can again rely on humility, on our need to cooperate, on our dependence on each other, to learn how to trust each other again, and by so doing better, serve the people who elected us. Stop listening to the bombastic loudmouths on the radio and television and the internet. To hell with them. You know, that was such a dramatic, emotional moment that you almost forgot how bad it is for the people who could lose health insurance. It's like if you watch that scene where Free Willy majestically leaps out of the water, but then lands on a bunch of orphans. <laughs> oh. Now, over the years, over the years, John McCain has built a reputation of being the maverick of the Senate, right? He's not afraid to speak his mind. He poops in the urinal. When he flies, <laughs> he picks the middle seat. <laughs> and yesterday was no different. I voted for the motion to proceed to allow debate to continue and amendments to be offered. I will not vote for this bill as it is today. Yeah. 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 Powerful, right? Yeah. Powerful. Yeah. Woo! Also, also had like a cool rhythm. It sounded like that speech was written by the same person who wrote Diddy's rhymes. You know, <laughs> we ain't going nowhere. We ain't going nowhere. Yeah. So McCain said it as clearly as possible that although he voted to let other senators consider repealing Obamacare, he himself would not support the bill. And he boldly stood by that promise for almost six hours. And around 9.30 last night, the Senate rejected the Better Care Reconciliation Act. Nine Republicans voted against the legislation. Senator John McCain voted for it after saying he wouldn't. God damn it, McCain! <laughs> the man mavericked himself! He said it, then it got popular, so he went against it. He said he hates the process. And then he votes to advance it. He said he hates the bill, and then he votes for it. There were yoga teachers yesterday who took fewer positions than John McCain. <laughs> we couldn't keep up. So... <laughs> so that Obamacare repeal attempt went down yesterday. This afternoon, they tried another one and it crashed harder than a live Mariah Carey performance. Oh, you didn't think I'd come for you twice in the same show, Mariah? It's me and you! You know what you did. They keep crashing. The Republicans keep crashing. You know what? We're basically watching Congressional Roadrunner, right? <laughs> Republicans keep trying to kill Obamacare, but instead, they always end up crashing into a wall. <laughs> I mean, how many times are they gonna try and repeal Obamacare? It feels like they're always voting and voting. If it was this week and last week and the week before, the Republicans have voted more times than those illegal Mexicans who voted for Hillary. <laughs> and, and they didn't even want to go through all of this. That's the worst part. They're only doing this because last week, President Trump told them that if they didn't vote for some form of Obamacare repeal, he would go after them in the primaries next year. So you'd think that this week, Trump would be leading the charge. Instead, the commander in tweet was focused on friendly fire. Breaking news, President Trump banning transgender people from serving in the US military. He made the somewhat surprise announcement in a series of tweets. What the f <laughs> No, but I'm like, what, you, what, like who? Like, th that was before 9 a.m. <laughs> before, you know, with Trump as president, you don't even need morning coffee, you don't. <laughs> yeah, a little bit of him wakes you right up, right? Just straight into it, and too much makes Yourself. It's just, you know. <laughs> now, like most of Trump's ideas, this ban sounds crazy when you first hear it, but then he explains it, and it's way worse. Trump tweeting out, after a consultation with my generals and military experts, please be advised that the United States government will not accept or allow transgender individuals to serve in any capacity in the U.S. military. Our military must be focused on decisive and overwhelming victory and cannot be burdened with the tremendous medical costs and disruption that transgender in the military would entail. Thank you. Thank you? <laughs> wow. No one takes away civil rights as politely as Donald Trump. <laughs> Please be advised that I'm banning wheelchair ramps and have a great day. Thank you. <laughs> so, as usual, 
this uh, proclamation from Trump was full of BS. So let, let's try and break it down without going mad. First, he says, he consulted with his generals. But this morning, the Pentagon reportedly had no idea that this ban was coming. So <laughs> unless he met with the general online, <laughs> that part doesn't seem to be true. And, and as far as the reason Trump gave for the ban, he said the military cannot be burdened with the tremendous medical costs. Now, just so we're on the same page, transgender-related medical expenses for the military cost at most $8 million a year. Yeah. Also known as 0.001% of the total military budget. In contrast, taxpayers will be paying $60 million per year just for Trump to visit his own properties like Mar-a-Lago. Yeah. And that's before he orders dessert. 60 million. <laughs> and look, I, I, I know... I know some people were surprised by the president's order this morning, but maybe we shouldn't be. Because even though Trump always claimed he was for the LGBTQ rights, he never seemed fully comfortable in that identity. L-G-B-T is starting to like Donald Trump very much lately. The L-B and L-G-B-T community. The L-G-B-T... <laughs> Q community. I will do everything in my power to protect our LGBTQ citizens. Yeah. Donald Trump said he'd protect LGBTQ citizens. <laughs> and actually, considering how many wars he's gonna start, maybe he just did. Hello? Mr. President, how are you? Yes, of course. Oh, you want me to let people know they can watch full episodes of The Daily Show for free anytime with the Comedy Central app or at thedailyshow.com? Yes, of course. Yes, I know I'm fake news. All right. Love you too. Bye-bye.